Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, it's a beautiful spring day here in the Virginia mountains, and I'm headed outside to build a decorative windmill and a tumbling food composter for the garden. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. Spring has sprung here in the Virginia mountains. The red buds are in full bloom and so are the dogwood trees. The cross-shaped petals are so beautiful. I can't wait until the ground is warm enough so that I can spread some wildflower seeds. Spring has arrived and so has the many springtime illnesses. Unfortunately, I got hit with an upper respiratory infection last week, so I apologize for not being able to upload a video for y'all. Thank you all for the sweet well wishes that you left for me on my community tab. It really warmed my heart to receive so many sweet messages from all of you. I'm feeling much better now, so now it's time to get back to work. There's so much to do here on our little homestead, but today I'm taking it a little easy and decided to build a windmill that my nieces gave me for Christmas the year before last. We were living in the rental trailer at that time, so we wanted to wait until we were settled into our forever home to set it up. It's a decorative windmill, and I've been trying to find just the right place to put it, and I think out by the garden will be the perfect spot.
You are so silly. You are a silly cat. What are you doing, silly boy? <laughs> you got a leaf stuck to your head. <laughs> You are so funny. Milo. <laughs> I love you. He really is a funny cat. He makes me so happy and he gives the best cuddles. He's a sweetie, that's for sure. Well, y'all, Tim has left me alone for the day. He had errands to go run. We found a man that was selling large IBC water storage tanks, but he's located over two hours away. So Tim has gone on a little road trip to pick them up. I figured while he was gone for the day, I would try to put together this windmill that my nieces gave us. The directions said it should take two people about an hour to assemble, but it's just me, so who knows how long it will take. We plan to build a garden shed on the other side of the garden, and we want to attach gutters to the shed in order to collect rainwater in the large water tanks. So that way we will have a water source close to the garden to water our vegetables with. But that's a project for another day. On trying to grow our very first vegetable garden this year so I started some seeds indoors a couple of weeks ago and they've all started to sprout except for the nasturtiums so far as best as I can tell everything looks good I started two types of tomatoes Roma and beefsteak cabbage cucumbers collards Spanish onions marigolds and nasturtiums I'm not too sure about the nasturtiums though I planted 15 nasturtium seeds, but only one has sprouted. I'm going to order more seeds and try sowing them directly outside to see if they do any better out there. I have some footage of all my seedlings that I plan to share with y'all here in just a little while, so stay tuned. I shared in my last video how Tim had bought over 12 berry bushes, grape vines, and strawberry plants. 
Well, we got them all planted into containers, and I have a clip of them to share as well. Of course, that was all done before we got sick. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Tim has come down with his very own respiratory infection. Poor guy feels awful. He took such good care of me while I was sick, so now it's my turn to take care of him. doing this spring with all the viruses going around I sure hope you're all happy healthy and well we had such big goals for this spring but unfortunately between me and now Tim getting sick who knows what will get accomplished I think we're going to focus mostly on the vegetable garden for now we've built two raised garden beds so far but we have two more to build and then the garden shed we also want to build a deck or a platform to hold two large water tanks at the back of the shed I'm hoping once the garden has been planted that we'll be able to start work on the chicken coop. But don't worry, we haven't completely stopped working on the mobile home renovations. My middle son and one of his friends have started gutting his bedroom in order to get it ready to be renovated. I know most of you are here for the renovations, but I want to thank you all for allowing us to film and post whatever projects we have going on at the moment. Whether it be renovations, cooking dinner, working outside, or playing with our pets. No matter what, you always show up and support our videos, no matter what we post, and that really does mean the world to me.
Well, I did it, y'all. I was able to build the windmill all on my own, and it only took me two hours. The directions said it would take two people one hour to build, so one person taking two hours sounds about right, right? Well, I absolutely love it, and I want to thank my nieces for my wonderful windmill. I think it looks great sitting out here next to the garden patch. It's the perfect addition to our little homestead. All right, well, I'm going to take a little break before I start building the compost bin and share some clips of my seedlings and Tim's mini berry bushes, and then I'll get right back to work. Now that we're living on our homestead and we plan on starting to grow our own vegetables, it only makes sense to start a compost pile, so I bought one from Amazon. It's a 43 gallon tumbling compost bin that has two separate chambers, which allows one side to finish composting while leaving the other side available to add fresh waste products to. The description also states that the 360 degree rotating drum prevents you from having to dig or mix the compost by hand, which sure does sound good to me. I'm getting kind of sad y'all, but happy at the same time. Happy because all the trees are starting to grow their leaves back, but I'm sad because the mountains are starting to disappear behind all the new leaves. We have a few more trees that we plan to cut down and some to trim up but we don't want to lose all the privacy that we have up here on our little mountain. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. It is kind of cool how the scenery changes from season to season up here though. But I tell you what, I sure do love to sit and look out over the Blue Ridge Mountain Range. They're just so majestic to look at.
I tell you what, I've gotten to where I really enjoy assembling things such as the windmill and box furniture. But this compost bin is starting to be a pain in my back. It's a little awkward to put together, and I sure wish Tim was here to help me out, but he's still off getting the large water tanks. I sure do hope he makes it back soon, though, because I sure could use a second set of hands, that's for sure. I really do love my new windmill. I think I may move it closer to the fence and then plant some flowers around the bottom of it. I think that would be really cute. All right, well, I'm going to keep on trying to assemble this compost bin as best as I can until Tim gets home, which hopefully won't be long now. Well, look who made it home and just in time. I was starting to think I'd have to wait to finish the compost bin until much later, but Tim is here to save the day. I definitely wouldn't have been able to finish it without him, that's for sure. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and finish building the bin, and then we need to find a place to put it. I can't decide if I want to leave it out next to the garden or if I should keep it up closer to the house. What do y'all think? Let me know down below.
was a bit of a challenge, but we finally finished building the compost bin. We decided to keep it down by the garden patch for now, but we'll see. We may end up moving it up next to the house later on. We'll just have to see how it goes. Well, y'all, that's about it for another video. But before I go, I just want to thank you again for all your sweet get well soon wishes and sending me all your good vibes. I'm feeling so much better, but now we have to get Tim feeling better because I can't stand it when he's not feeling good. Not because he's a big baby or anything like that, but because he doesn't slow down. He just keeps going and going and never takes the time to rest, and he makes me worry about him. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next one. I hope y'all have a great week, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, y'all.